Bruce being the instructor to Joe. I don't think he had boxing hands until he met Bruce Lee. But his uh, sidekick is phenomenal. Joe would throw a thousand sidekicks a day, you know. Hey, listen, Joe Lewis, in, in today's world, you know, he would have learned all that shit and been, you know, just as bad as he was back in the day. Bruce didn't think point karate, point martial arts competition was, was valuable at all. And I totally disagreed with him. Bruce watched it but didn't believe in it. He always advocated full contact sparring. Bruce Lee looked at all of that and said, this is not martial arts, this is nonsense. Let's get rid of these rules. I respect that he didn't feel like he wanted to compete because it wasn't real combat. Because he says, you're not fighting for yourself, you're not expressing yourself, you're fighting for the judges, the referee, the rules. Now what's the reality of combat? The reality is there's someone there who wants to beat you down. He said, uh, to learn to swim, you cannot swim on land, you gotta get in the water. To learn to fight, you gotta fight. Can you break five or six uh, pieces of wood with your hand or your foot? Oh, don't hit back. I'll probably break my hand and foot. <laughs> he had high regard for those martial artists of the day that were winning tournaments. He just had a different philosophy about martial arts and actual fighting. I do not believe in styles anymore. I mean, I do not believe that there is such thing as like Chinese way of fighting or the, or the Japanese way of fighting or whatever way of fighting because if you do not have styles, if you just say, well, here, here I am, you know, as, as a human being, how can I express myself totally and completely? Now, that way, you won't create a style because style is a crystallization, you know? I mean, that way, it's a process of continuing growth. At that time,